Hey everyone, what's going on? Jeff here from Films at Home, and today I've got a big collection update to do for you guys. Haven't done one of these in probably a couple of months, so I've got quite a few titles, some that I purchased, some that came in for review, lots of really cool stuff that I'm gonna show off here, both in 4K and on Blu-ray, and DVD in some cases that I've added to my physical media collection. So I'm gonna start off here with some of the things that I've bought. Some of this came from Prime Day deals, some of it came from the Dollar Tree, some of it was just random purchases, but I'll cover all that and then I'll dive into some of the review copies the studios sent me and I'll talk a little bit about each of those. If you do like physical media, Blu-ray, DVD, 4K collecting and reviews, home theater reviews, I think you'll like the channel. So definitely subscribe and like this video so more people will see it and we can grow this community. Help me get to 100,000 subscribers. I really appreciate that. And now let's jump right into it. So the first thing I'm going to show off is a big purchase for me. I dropped about $160 on this set on Prime Day, but that was a really, really good deal on the set. The lowest I'd ever seen it. So for those of you who say I don't spend money on Blu-rays for my collection, uh, here's $160 worth. But this is the 100 Years of Olympic Films set from the Criterion Collection, this beautiful, beautiful box set here from Criterion. It has 100 years of Olympic films, as it says, from 1912 up to 2012. So on the inside of the case here, you've got this uh, booklet, and then you've got a bunch of individual Blu-ray and DVD cases. This is really cool for me. I'm a history guy, I like history. This has all of these documentaries that were shot going back to Stockholm in 1912, right here, the games of the fifth Olympiad. So prior to that, I mean, video cameras weren't even happening, right? But there's also really cool ones like, okay, the Berlin Olympics in 1936, super important Olympic games that was held in Hitler's Germany. Jesse Owens famously beat out all the other white guys in the races and he was not pleased. So like there's some really important Mexico cities in here, Lake Placid 1980, um, we've got you know Atlanta in 96, all the more recent ones all the way up to London in 2012. And this includes both summer and winter Olympics. There's hours and hours and hours of footage in here, but it works out to something like seven or eight bucks a disc which is an absolute no-brainer. Plus, it has this really cool booklet in the front, which is like 100 pages long and talks about all the different Olympic games. So 160 bucks on that on Prime Day was a steal. I actually ended up getting it for like 130 because I had some coupons and um, some other gift cards sitting in my account. But really happy with this set. Uh, I, this is now like a cornerstone of my collection. So I've got a few more Prime Day deals here. Uh, the first one, is this 2018 World Series Champions Boston Red Sox Blu-ray. You guys know I'm a Boston guy, I'm a Boston sports fan, love my Boston sports teams. This was a big World Series win, and those are hard to find because Shout Factory puts them out. They're usually expensive. Got that for like seven bucks. And then I also picked up some DVDs because this was a great deal. This is the Hey Arnold Complete Collection. I'm a Nicktoons kid through and through. I grew up in the 90s. It was Rugrats, Hey Arnold, Ah Real Monsters, Ren and Stimpy, Rocco's Modern Life, all that stuff. So I had to have this. It's the complete TV series plus the two movies um, and bonus content included. So um, really, really cool set there. And then for 4Ks, I grabbed a couple. Uh, first one is Big Lebowski on 4K. Didn't have this, grabbed it for $9.99. This is a good time to pick up catalog titles. Unfortunately, my slipcover didn't come damaged, but it came undone. The glue is completely off the side. So it doesn't stick together. I'll glue that back together. And then I also didn't even have this movie in my collection. So this is a big pickup for me, um, but it's stand by me on 4K. I could have swore I had it on Blu-ray. Apparently I just somehow missed it. Um, but what a classic, great movie. And I've heard great things about the 4K. So I'll actually be checking both of these out, probably do a video together with a few other titles as kind of a 4K roundup. But I'll cover all those guys uh, for you. And, and, and this was 13 bucks as well. So really good deals on, on Prime Day. Now I got a few other purchases I'm gonna run through here real quickly. I did pick up uh, this Vinegar Syndrome titled Tammy and the T-Rex. Didn't get the 4K, just didn't really feel like spending the extra like 15 bucks to get it. Just wanted to have the movie. It's a weird one but really happy to have it and as always vinegar syndrome kills it with the artwork all around and has a great package so um, really happy with that one then i also grabbed a dvd of uh the foot fist way 
This movie is super like cringe, awkward humor. Stars Danny McBride sort of in his breakout role. This was his first real movie. Obviously, he's gone on to do Pineapple Express and uh, This Is The End, The Righteous Gemstones, uh, so many other things, Hot Rod that he was in. You know, he's, he's a huge comedic actor now. Um, but this was actually Will Ferrell and Adam McKay presented this, produced it, put it together. It was his breakout movie. It's really, really funny, only on DVD, but if you like Danny McBride, you'll love this movie. You, it's clear to see where he gets uh, all of his sort of the characters that he plays like in Eastbound and Down and those types of characters. This is where it all came from. Also grabbed A Night at the Roxbury, which is a goofy, stupid SNL comedy, but I like it. It makes me laugh. Will Ferrell, Chris Catan. This is a Paramount Pictures release, kind of like Good Burger and Small Soldiers. They're doing some more catalog titles just on Blu-ray, which is still awesome. So I grabbed that for $9. And then I also did hit these Dollar Tree sales that were going on like last month. And so I picked up five titles. I got a Marco Polo mini series, not the Netflix series, but uh, pretty cool to get a mini series like that for a dollar. I got this movie Silencer, which is an action goofy movie starring Danny Trejo, uh, Tito Ortiz, and Chuck Liddell. So you got your UFC fighters in there. And again, I buy these because they're a dollar. They're fun to have in the collection. I know that most of them are dumb and stupid, but I think they're awesome to collect. Um, I got Two-Headed Shark Attack. Talk about dumb and stupid. Carmen Electra, Brooke Hogan, and Charlie O'Connell. Not Jerry O'Connell. His brother, Charlie. They couldn't get Jerry. He must have been in high demand. Um, then we've got The Host, which surprisingly might be the best of this list, which is a Stephanie Meyer book. She wrote Twilight. And then Wedding Days with Jason Biggs and Isla Fisher, which actually looks like a half-decent comedy. I mean, it's a, it's an MGM release, so I thought that was pretty cool for a buck. So those were my pickups, and now let's get into some stuff that was sent to me. First one, we got Backdraft on 4K Steelbook. This was brand new, High Def Ninja sent this over. Really nice release in and out. You can see the artwork here. Beautiful artwork on the back. I like the minimalist look, but I didn't have this on 4K, so when they offered up the Steelbook, I thought that was a no-brainer, and I grabbed it. I'll probably be reviewing that along with Big Lebowski um, and Stand By Me in sort of a, a three-part 4K roundup. I also have this movie, Anything for Jackson, which is a Shudder Films uh, original. I love Shudder. It's a horror-focused streaming service, and RLJE Films put these out on Blu-ray, so it's cool to get physical releases. This movie, though, pretty messed up. It's these grandparents. They lose their grandparents grandson and they abduct a pregnant woman and then try to do a reverse like exorcism to put the spirit of their grandson into this woman's unborn baby it's wild gory satanic all over the place but i had a lot of fun with it so i you know i would recommend that one if you're into that sort of thing and then another one from Shudder and RLJE is Jacob's Wife, which is a really fun vampire movie. There haven't been many vampire movies lately. This one's a lot of fun. This guy's wife basically turns into a vampire and uh, you know the guy realizes that he's gonna have to fight for his wife. Um, and and you know it's kind of in the same vein as like Tucker and Dale versus Evil, Leslie Vernon, even like Scream. Like it's clearly a, a meta horror, kind of fun horror, making fun of the vampire movie um you know kind of genre but also has those horror vibes really good both of these were certified fresh rotten tomatoes you know what does that really mean mm, not much but they got good critical reviews and i thought they were both pretty fun now next up i got a bunch of new catalog blu-rays that i did not own from mill creek these are all double features mill creek's releases i'll say not always the best transfers but at least they're getting you HD media. A lot of these were not available on Blu-ray before or were kind of hard to find. So they do a great job with catalog titles. Not gonna be at the same level as like a Paramount Warner Brothers Universal with their transfers, but cool to have them in your collection. So a Mark Wahlberg, uh, woo, Mark Wahlberg, hello. As a Boston guy, he's gonna punch me in the face for that one. Uh, Mark Wahlberg, double feature, Contraband and Fear. Then I've got another double feature of December and Toy Soldiers. We've got a Matt Damon double feature, so they went heavy on the Boston guys of the Adjustment Bureau and the Good Shepherd. Then we got a Jamie Foxx double feature, Miami Vice and The Kingdom. The Kingdom, I actually have a lot of fun with. Miami Vice, not so much. And then a couple individual releases. First off, we've got uh, Finding Forrester, which is a very, very good movie. Uh, I couldn't believe I didn't have this in my collection, but I'm happy Mill Creek made that happen. And then I have Alpha Dog, which is kind of a gang thriller action movie. The cast is big though. Ben Foster, Emile Hirsch, Sharon Stone, Justin Timberlake, a young Anton Yelchin, and Bruce Willis all in this movie. So really cool cast in the movie. It's actually probably better than it deserves to be. 
So now I've got the last stack here. I've got about eight more to go through. Um, A24 put this one out. Minari. Haven't had a chance to watch it yet. Let me know what you guys think. I've just not sat down and watched it, but I believe it won Best Supporting Actress at the Oscars. It may have won another award too, but it was nominated for six. One of the big movies of the year for the award season. Uh, so I am excited to have that one in the collection. And then another awards movie was The Father. Now this famously was the movie where Anthony Hopkins here uh, won Best Actor instead of Chadwick Boseman. Personally, I feel like they should have given it to Chadwick. Unfortunately, he'll never have a chance to win it again. Anthony Hopkins is also very old, but you know, he's won Oscars before. I would have given it to Chadwick Boseman. It is what it is. Maybe he's better in this movie. I haven't seen it. I'm sure Anthony Hopkins is great. He's a great actor, but you know, I thought just the timing was right for Chadwick. But anyway, that's the father from Sony Pictures Classics on Blu-ray. Then from Universal, I've got Boogie. This is directed by Eddie Huang, who uh, I believe did the show like Fresh Off the Boat. I think that's the name of the show. I'm not really up on my sitcoms. But this tells the story of this Asian American basketball player in Queens, New York, who has a dream to make it to the NBA. And he kind of deals with his racism, you know, not just from white people putting him down, but the black community putting him down and basketball players making fun of him. You know, a guy like Jeremy Lin could probably relate to this a lot. I know he went through a lot of the same issues when he got really hot and came into the league. They try to pigeonhole you. They say Asian American, um, you know, or just sorry, Asian racial slurs. He got horrible treatment. So that this movie kind of deals with that. Interestingly enough, it also stars Pop Smoke. If you don't know Pop Smoke, he's kind of he was an up and coming hip hop artist. Had a couple of really big songs, um, especially on like TikTok. He blew up, and he's in this movie as like a rival uh, basketball player. But he actually got shot and killed before the movie came out. So it has his music. It stars him. Um, a bunch of new music from him, which you may have heard, is in this movie. But it is his his last movie, unfortunately. But if you do like him, that could be a reason to check out Boogie. Now, I've got one more DVD. This came from Mill Creek as well. But if you like adult animated comedies like Bob's Burgers or Simpsons or Family Guy, you'll probably like this show. It's The Critic. It's a little bit earlier. It's from the early 90s. But it has John Lovitz as this film critic. If you like movies, you'll really appreciate this. But it's a great animated comedy. John Lovitz is awesome as the critic and this has had a dvd release before but i think it was out of print for a while and mill creek is putting it back in print so good for them and now last up i got some uh, kind of boutique horror here which i just recently grabbed a um, couple from severin i've got grizzly which is the jaws ripoff it's basically jaws with the grizzly bear it came out i think the year after jaws yeah 1976 Let's take Jaws and make it a bear instead. That's basically what happens. It's a it's a complete knockoff, but had to have it as a Jaws fan. You know, if you if you tell me it's a knockoff of Jaws, I want to see it. And then we got the movie Turkey Shoot, which is from 1981. It's an Australian kind of cult movie. First time uncut in HD, and it's sort of like the most dangerous game type concept. There, it's it's in a to totalitarian future. Uh, people who are, are not following the rules are called deviants and they get put on this island to basically be hunted by the rich people. So similar plot to Most Dangerous Game or even the movie The Hunt, which recently came out. But this is from 1981, so it's pretty gory. It's pretty wild. It is like, I believe this is unrated because I don't think they could rate it. Um, I mean, it says right here, they're thrust into a nightmare of depravity, dismemberment, cleaved skulls, exploding heads, lesbians with crossbows, the insane hungers of a cannibal uh, circus freak. I mean, it's way, way out there. So I'm excited to check that out. And then last but not least, I got a few more 4K releases here, which I will cover in a future video as another roundup. Um, but I got Santa Sangre. I hope I'm saying that right. Again, you guys know I pronounce words like such a typical American. But anyway, this is a four disc limited edition from Severin. Brand new restoration on 4K. Has tons of bonus features, a CD soundtrack. We'll dive into this in the review uh, more in depth. And then I also got from Blue Underground, The Final Countdown. Again, limited edition uh, with a 4K, a Blu-ray, and a CD soundtrack. Really nice lenticular slipcover. And I've heard great things about that transfer. So we'll dive into that. And then literally today, as I was about to make this video, these showed up. I got Dead and Buried from Blue Underground, uh, two editions of their lenticular slipcover. So, um, you know, I'll probably, I don't know if I'll keep them both for my collection. Maybe I'll give one away in that giveaway video. So make sure you subscribe for that. But uh, new 4K transfers, again, limited edition slip covers, different artwork, and it has the Blu-ray and CD as well. So really, really cool stuff. 
all three of these, you know, I'll cover in a sort of uh, boutique horror 4K roundup in the near future. So that's it for the video today. That's the big collection update. Like I said, this video is dedicated to those who say I don't spend any money. There's at least a couple hundred dollars worth of movies and box sets uh, that I've spent money on in this uh, video. So, you know, shout out to that crowd. I definitely still buy stuff for my collection and then I get some stuff as well. So I like to show it all off. Uh, those Shutter horror movies are really, really cool. Check those out for sure. Anything for Jackson and Jacob's Wife, two very different movies, but those are awesome. I enjoyed Boogie. I thought that was a cool movie. Um, and a lot of the stuff I bought on Blu-ray uh, myself, like this Olympic set is gonna be awesome, especially with the Summer Olympics coming up. Definitely be watching a few of those. So really cool stuff added to my collection and I appreciate you all watching this video. Hopefully it inspired you to make some, uh, some purchases yourself. And um, yeah, that's about it. So thank you for watching. Make sure you're subscribed. Have your notifications on and like the video so others will see it. Find me on social media. All the links are down in my description as well as all the ways you can help support me in the channel. But the biggest thing is just watching. So appreciate you guys watching, especially a longer video like this. Hope you stay safe and healthy out there and I'll talk to you all soon.